Think dinosaurs could survive in today's world? It's a question that's been floating around ever since Jurassic Park hit theaters. And the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. Dinosaurs ruled Earth for over 165 million years. But the modern era, the Cenozoic world of mammals, changing climates, and human dominance, is nothing like the world they left behind. Today, we're asking the ultimate what if. If a dinosaur was born into the present, could it survive or would it be doomed all over again? Let's start with climate. The Mesozoic was a greenhouse world. Global temperatures were warmer, sea levels were higher, and forests sprawled across vast continents. Today's climate is far cooler and far less forgiving, especially with ice caps and shifting seasons. A giant sauropod like Argentinosaurus might thrive in lush, warm environments, but in today's ecosystems, food supplies would be patchy and winters could starve it out. Even large carnivores like T. rex would struggle with migrations of prey that don't move in endless herds anymore. Dinosaurs adapted to an earth without frost or snow. Many would simply freeze before they ever had a chance to fight. Then there's oxygen. During much of the Mesozoic, atmospheric oxygen and carbon dioxide levels were higher, fueling fast growth and colossal body sizes. Our thinner, modern atmosphere might put a damper on that. Sauropods might not be able to hit their gigantic size if born today, and the metabolic demands of a massive theropod could outpace what modern oxygen levels allow. That means the giants of the past might literally not grow to their old, record-breaking scale. Imagine a T-Rex stuck at only half size. Not exactly terrifying compared to what we're used to picturing. Even if a T-Rex, Triceratops, or sauropod somehow made it into today's world, it wouldn't just be cars, planes, and cities they'd have to deal with. The modern era is crawling with pathogens that their immune systems have never encountered. Viruses, bacteria, parasites, all evolved long after the dinosaurs were wiped out. A mosquito bite, a lung infection, or even modern soil bacteria could wipe them out faster than any predator. It's the same reason why invasive species often collapse when exposed to local diseases. These prehistoric giants might look unstoppable, but the truth is their bodies were fine-tuned for the late Cretaceous, not our world of evolving microbes and pandemics. In many ways, the deadliest predator waiting for them today isn't us. It's sickness. Competition is another brutal factor. When dinosaurs went extinct, mammals took over. In the Cenozoic, elephants, rhinos, hippos, whales, and big cats filled niches that dinosaurs once ruled. Could a T-Rex outcompete a pride of lions? Maybe. But whales rule the oceans in ways that marine reptiles once did, and elephants have taken over the role of massive grazers. Dinosaurs would be fighting for scraps in ecosystems that already belong to mammals. Nature doesn't give out participation trophies. There's no no guarantee dinosaurs could just waltz back in and take charge. That said, not all dinosaurs would be doomed. In fact, some already survived. The birds, chickens, ostriches, hawks, and penguins are living proof that smaller feathered dinosaurs were versatile enough to adapt to Earth's changing environment. That suggests some smaller theropods, maybe the size of a velociraptor, could find a niche in today's ecosystems, scavenging or hunting in places mammals can't reach. But the age of giant land lizards? That's over. What made dinosaurs thrive back then simply doesn't exist in the same same way now. And we can't ignore the biggest obstacle, humans. Let's be real, if dinosaurs reappear today, the greatest threat wouldn't be lions, whales, or oxygen levels, it would be us. A wild Spinosaurus might dominate a river system until it strolled too close to a village. A Tyrannosaurus would be a terrifying predator, but modern weapons would drop it in minutes. Humanity drove mammoth, saber tooths, and countless megafauna to extinction within a few thousand years. Dinosaurs wouldn't stand a chance against deforestation, habitat loss, and industrial scale hunting. If we didn't kill them for safety, we'd kill them for sport, for profit, or simply because they were in the way. Even if humans didn't hunt them, we'd control them. Some people imagine dinosaurs roaming wild, but more likely, they'd end up in farms, zoos, or entertainment parks, just like cattle, lions, or elephants today. A T-Rex might not go extinct, but it wouldn't be free. Dinosaurs would be commodified, fenced in, and bred under human terms. And if history has taught us anything, once humans get control, the wild is over. But what about dinosaurs in the ocean? Could creatures like Mosasaurus or other marine reptiles thrive in today's seas? Possibly, but they'd have stiff competition. Sharks, killer whales, and giant squid dominate the modern oceans. And unlike the warm, rich, Cretaceous seas, today's oceans are struggling with pollution and overfishing. A Mosasaurus might rule in deep water, but it'd still be facing rivals that evolved in a completely different age, fine-tuned to today's ecosystems. Being big isn't always enough. 
Dinosaurs also face another challenge, the urban jungle. Imagine a sauropod trying to move across modern cities, highways, or farmland. There's no space for them to roam, no forest stretching endlessly across continents like in their prime. The earth they ruled was wide open. Our earth is fragmented and carved up by roads, walls, and human expansion. For a giant dinosaur, the modern world would feel like a trap, not a home. If you think about it, dinosaurs already failed the test once. When the asteroid hit 66 million years ago, the survivors weren't the massive carnivores or the towering sauropods. It was the small, adaptable, versatile creatures that lived through the disaster. The Cenozoic era is proof of that. Mammals rose and reshaped Earth. So even if dinosaurs magically reappear today, they face the same uphill battle, being too specialized, too big, and too poorly suited for a planet that's already moved on. So, could dinosaurs survive the modern era? Maybe a few small ones, maybe the bird-like hunters or scavengers that could carve out a space where mammals can't. But the towering giants, the colossal predators, the thunder lizards that once ruled Earth, they'd be doomed. The age of dinosaurs is truly over. Or is it? If you enjoyed this deep dive into prehistoric what-ifs, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment about which dinosaur you think could actually survive in today's world. Could a velociraptor adapt to suburbia? Could a Spinosaurus dominate the rivers again? Let's hear your theories. Thanks for watching, and remember, sometimes survival isn't about being the strongest, it's about being in the right age at the right time.